Hi everyone, we've got a great video for you today. We are sitting down with a non-for-profit here in Westchester Liberty called Reach Out Lakota, and they have been serving our community for almost 30 years. And Scott, the CEO of Reach Out Lakota, has been gracious enough to sit down with us. Check it out. Let's talk about uh, your seasonal programs, the, the heavy times for you. What, what, are, what are those? So we have three main seasonal programs. Mm -hmm. One is our back to school uh, event. Clients can get a brand new backpack and their school supplies. Mm -hmm. Now, when I learned about how the school supply program worked, I was blown away. So you think about school supplies, you need some pencils, you need some crayons, you need some papers. Yeah. Um, you, your child's too young to know this, but when you go to school, you're going to get a list of all the things they need to bring. Right. You know, and it's the parent's job to bring in. Yeah. Yeah. You know, three folders, one blue, one yellow, so many pencils. And if you've got three kids, three different schools or different grades, you've got three different lists. Mm -hmm. Our volunteers get donations in, they sort through them all, clients register, and we'll give out over 400 uh, kids school supplies. They get their exact school list. So they come in and pick out a brand new backpack. Oh my gosh. We find their corresponding bag, put yes. it in the backpack. They are ready for school with everything that's on their list. That is awesome. It's, it's amazing. The, the volunteers are tremendous to be able to, okay. to coordinate because every school is different, every right. grade's different. And so we match up those kids with that school, that right. grade, and that list. Wow. And again, the community is supportive and donating all the things that we need. So Yeah, we're lucky. Uh, yeah. Um, so besides back to school, what else? So then at Thanksgiving time, we do a Thanksgiving meal. Mm -hmm. uh, we the Families can choose between a turkey or chicken, and then they get uh, two boxes full of food. So it's it's more than enough for the Thanksgiving meal, Does and it? then some. So okay. it's, it's all the fictions you need for a Thanksgiving meal, and then we throw in some extra things. And so yeah. it's, a, it's an extra food. And so... That, that food, those two food boxes, plus think about a turkey, how long, I don't know how long a turkey lasts your family, but it lasts a long time. Um, so that food will last them for, yeah. for several weeks. And then at Christmas time, we do a food and a toy program. So the parents again, sign up for toys. Then on a specific day, they go to a different location because mm -hmm. we, need, we need a lot of space. Um, and they can pick out two brand new toys for each kid in the family. And so there's toys are gathered by, you know, the infants, the six-year-olds, mm. the high school kids, and they pick what they think that their children are going to like. They, they know yeah. better. They right. know what their kids are going to like. We did 800 students last year. Uh, each of them got two, two gifts. Um, and then on that same day, we do food. So we use another church location. And during the morning, we have the church members, a couple churches actually sponsor families. They pick, buy food for a family of four, a family of six, whatever it is. The food gets unloaded into a gym in the morning and then in the afternoon the clients show up and then we match those numbers up and load those food into their car and we did about 400 families at christmas time so, <laughs> that is so awesome so we need a lot of volunteers for those big activities <laughs> if someone is in need of reach out lakota what is the best way for them to get started well the best way is to, to come to reach out lakota we're open monday nights 5 to 7 p.m wednesday and friday 10 to 12. And the way we have it is you drive up and we have a clipboard outside. You sign your name and let us know if you're brand new and do you need food or clothing or both. And then you wait in your car. We're bringing in three or four families in at a time. We're going to treat everybody nicely. I think that's one of, another gift that we give is we treat everybody with respect and dignity. Um, we're going to find out what your needs are. You need to bring in the documents that are required, the photo IDs for family members, a piece of mail, um, and then some sort of ID for kids if you have them. And uh, we'll do a little bit of paperwork and then you'll go right in and do some shopping. And then we'll pack the food for you. And you can come in for food four times a year. And we just ask families, skip a month in between. 